Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. I'm so glad that you're here and I hope that it's treating you well so far. Anyways, for today's video, I am going to be testing out this viral TikTok foundation hack sort of thing. But first, I do have to say, I do not have TikTok. I don't really have a good reason why I don't have it. I just... I, I just don't think I'm over the fact that Vine is dead yet. I know it's been four years, five years, however many years, but I don't know. I just loved Vine so much and I just don't think I'm over it yet. And I think that's why I can't get on board. I need help. Anyways, um, I'm going to be doing this hack today and I found out about it because my best friend texted me and she was like, oh my gosh, have you heard of this hack? You have to see it. You have to try it. And so I was like, Okay, so I looked it up on YouTube and I watched the video and I'm just very interested to see because I have oily skin. So I'm a little bit skeptical, but I do know that this works because I've seen other people do it. But the reason why I wanted to do this today is because I want to do a wear test for you guys because the main thing that I've seen in all these videos is they'll do the hack and it works and it looks good, but they don't do a wear test. So I'm gonna do this today, see how it works on my skin. And then I'm also gonna check in with you guys later on to see how it held up. So if you guys would like to see this hack, just keep on watching. All right, so before I get started, I'm just gonna watch the video again, just as a little refresher to make sure that I have all the steps down correctly and that I am following the hack properly. All right, so from the looks of it, you basically just take your foundation routine and just jumble it all up. So they start out with moisturizer, translucent powder, setting spray, primer, and then foundation. So it's uh, there's a lot going on here. So first we start off with moisturizer. I already moisturized my face this morning with my Hello Bello baby lotion. I've already mentioned this on my channel before. You guys know that this works really well on my skin, so that's what I used. So next I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder for my translucent powder. And I know in the video she mentioned not too much, so I'm just gonna try to go in with a really light hand. All right, so I put a very light layer of that powder on, and now I'm gonna move on to the setting spray. I've got my Urban Decay Travel Size Cherry All Nighter Setting Spray that I'm gonna use. So I'm just gonna go in with that. Very refreshing. So it says to wait until that is dry to put on your primer. I'm gonna make sure that's nice and set. All right, so I think that's dry enough. The next step is to go in with primer. So I'm just gonna use this Maybelline Master Prime. This is the blur and redness control one. And I'm just gonna put that on my face. It's gonna be very interesting to see how this looks just because it's really weird putting on powder before primer. All right, so my moisturizer is on, my translucent powder is on, my setting spray and my primer are on. So now the final step is foundation. I'm very interested to see how this is going to look. I am going in with my Revlon Color Stay. This is the combination and oily foundation. And we're just going to see how this goes. I thought this was gonna look cakey at first, but it actually doesn't look too bad. If you look up closely, it kind of almost gives it the effect of a pore blurring primer sort of thing. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it looks really smooth. So, so far so good. So I gotta say, I'm actually really impressed with this. I did not know how it was gonna look, but it's actually giving me the effect of having set my face already, which I think is probably the reason why it works so well on other people, because usually I would put on my foundation and everything and it would kind of still look wet and then I would set it with powder. But right now it looks completely set. It looks very smooth. It almost gives it that, like I said before, that pore blurring effect, so, I think it looks really good. I'll give you guys a zoom in to see if you can kind of see it a little bit better. So on my face, like it looks very smooth, 
very put together. I am still going to put some concealer on just because I have a few spots that I want to cover up a little bit more, but the coverage is really good and it's really nice and mattified. I thought because of all the stuff you had going on originally that there might be still some shine to come through, but right now it is mattified, baby. It is set, sealed, and ready to go. As for first thoughts, very impressed very very impressed so right now i'm just gonna go put on my contour and blush and all that fun stuff so i'm just gonna speed through this part really quickly and then i'll check in with you guys in a minute All right, so I know my hair is different. Listen, it was just, it was bugging me, okay? So I had to put it half up. But anyways, my foundation is still looking pretty good. Finished up my makeup. We've got a... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you all right there? Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Anyways, got a bit of a neutral, nude, peachy vibe sort of going on. But I will check back with you guys in several hours to let you know how my foundation held up. All right, so I'm here to check in with the update. It is currently 11.14 p.m., so it's been about 10 hours since I've had all my makeup on. And so I just wanted to update you guys really quickly and just say that I am shook, okay? I really, really was skeptical about this just because of my oily skin, but can we just admire the fact it has been 10 hours and I'm not even shiny yet. Like. I'm not, I have not had to reapply any sort of powder whatsoever to cover up my shine, none of that. My skin has been fine, which I think is awesome. So that's a perk. If there's anything, I guess, bad I could say about it, I did get a little bit of creasing right here and it was a little patchy near the end of it, but honestly, that's how it is just sometimes with any foundation after wearing it for 10 hours. So overall, I am super, super impressed with this, um, with this technique. I would honestly probably give it a 9 out of 10, 9.5 out of 10, just because I'm very, very, very shook at this. I'll, I'll try to get a little bit of a close up, but this foundation hack, it's, it's legit. Like, it's really legit. Like, other than it being just the tiniest bit patchy from being worn all day, it still looks fine. There's really no shine whatsoever. I haven't had to reapply any powder. Super, super impressed. So that is my update. I really loved this hack. I honestly will probably try it again in the future. So that is that. And if you guys would like to receive some encouragement and prayer, just stick around with me for a few extra minutes. All right, so for today's encouragement and prayer, I just wanted to share really quickly about something that God has been showing me recently. So the past few days, I've just been hearing a lot of people saying things like, oh, today is gonna be a great day, or today sucks, or, you know, oh, things just keep getting worse and worse, or just, just things of that nature. You know what I mean? Just the everyday things of just stuff like that. So as I keep hearing that, God keeps like putting it on my heart, to tell you guys that you have authority over whether or not you have a good day. I know that bad things happen to us sometimes throughout our day and it just feels like, oh my gosh, one thing after the other just keeps happening. But we have the authority of Jesus Christ inside of us to have a good day. Nobody can determine whether or not you have a good or a bad day. You are the determiner. So things can happen to you but you can control how you respond. Because in this world, a lot of people don't know the difference between reacting and responding. Reacting is just like losing all cool and just letting your emotions take full reign of the situation. But responding is being able to take control of your emotions because you control your emotions. Your emotions do not control you. And being able to say, okay, I'm going to respond to this in a way that is going to make the course of my day better 
and not letting my emotions be the determiner of my day. So I may wake up and I may be super tired and super groggy and this and this and this, but if I let those emotions determine my day, of course I'm not gonna have a good day. So if you wake up and you're feeling super groggy and you look in the mirror and you say, you know what emotions, today is going to be a good day. You cannot tell me what my day is gonna be like. Just see how the course of your day changes, okay? I just wanted to say that because God has been reminding me how much authority we have over our words, over our emotions, over our actions, over the way that we respond to things. And so I just really wanted to share that with you guys because it's something that's so small but can change the course of your day entirely. So if that's something that you're struggling with and you want a little bit more of a grip on that, I'm just gonna pray over that. So if you guys could bow your heads with me, that would be amazing. Dear Heavenly Father, I just thank you for this day. I thank you so much for the authority that you have given us to be able to just have authority over our words and our actions and the way that we respond. So God, I just pray today that if some of us have been feeling lately like our emotions are taking the lead rather than us, taking the lead over our emotions, God, I just pray that you would show us new ways to be able to um, be in authority over those things, God. I just pray that if somebody is just feeling lost or if they're feeling misled or if they're feeling like each day has just been really bad lately, God, I just pray that we would all take a hold um, and just take authority over those things, over those thoughts, over those words, God, and that we would determine the course of our day because we just know the authority that you have inside of us, God, and we just thank you for the ability to be able to make it a good day. No matter the circumstances, no matter what people are saying about us or around us, God, that we are fully just rooted in you and that we, we can make it a good day. So I just thank you for that, God, and I just pray that you would bless every single person watching, and I just pray that you would bless them abundantly. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. So just remember that, that today can be a good day. Today will be a good day, all right? All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, you can always feel free to give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to continue to receive encouragement and prayer with every single video, you can always subscribe to my channel below because that really helps me out. But anyways, I love you guys so much and I hope that you have a beautiful day. Bye.